Economic analysis can be done in three ways. One is the static analysis, other is the comparative static, and third one is dynamic analysis. Static analysis, as the name goes, is something that doesn't move over time. And comparative static is something that is static, but comparatively. So it means that it is moving, but it moves due to exogenous variable and not due to time. And dynamic analysis is something that changes over time, which is dependent upon time. O out of uh, these three methods, dynamic is one of the most detailed methods. And we will cover this by using integration as well. Before we go into the details using integration, we should compare the dynamic analysis with the comparative static or static analysis. Um, these are the various grounds on the basis of which we are going to compare these uh, types of analyses. First one is the time dimension. Uh, in comparative or static analysis, the time dimension is absent as well as the economic variables refer to the same point in time. Static economy or timeless economy. So this is a static economy where the economic variables are not changing over time. And there is only one point in time that is being considered. Whereas when it comes to the dynamic analysis, time element has pivotal role because time is the independent variable. And it determines the changes in all the dependent variables that are economic in nature as well as non-economic in nature. The variables can occur in different points in time. We can have more than one point in time in which we can do the analysis. Then the equilibrium, it studies only a particular point of equilibrium. One point is being studied, whereas in dynamic analysis, it is the process by which the equilibrium is achieved. So it's not just one point in equilibrium, it's actually a whole process that determines that how equilibrium will be achieved. Therefore, it deals with both equilibrium as well as disequilibrium. So, if the uh, equilibrium is to be achieved, definitely in this process, at some points in time, the equilibrium can be lost. So, when it is lost, we are confronting disequilibrium. And when we have equilibrium, it means that we have equilibrium. So, both of the states are being studied and they are being studied using time as the determining variable. The transition, that is conversion from one phase into another is something that we are to see. In static analysis or comparative static analysis, it doesn't show the path of change, only the conditions of the equilibrium, like a still picture of the market. So a, a still picture has only one shape, one appearance, and in the static or comparative static analysis, we have only one equilibrium or only the current condition. But the path is missing. Path is something that will change over time. That is missing in the static or comparative static analysis. And it comes to the dynamic analysis. It shows the path of changes like a movie of a market. It means that we will be able to see that how the variable is changing over time. So it's something like a movie that has many pictures in it. So this is how the transition is different in one of them as compared to the other. Then we have the nature of the model. This is going to give rise to a static model as the name goes. Evaluates the endogenous variables that satisfy some specified equilibrium condition. So endogenous variables, the variables that are determined within the equation or the model, they are evaluated and they satisfy with some specified equilibrium condition. That is either its market equilibrium or the macroeconomic equilibrium by using ADS or saving or investment. So these are various equilibria that we have studied before. Uh, no matter it was demand supply or investment or saving, we have studied them. They were all static variable uh, equilibria in nature. Whereas the dynamic analysis uh, discusses the dynamic models, they delineate the time path of, the sum of some variable on the basis of the rate of change. So rate of change is something we will assess over time. For example, if this is time, how savings are changing over time is something that we can do here. So saving as a function of time, investment as a function of time can be done when it comes to the dynamic analysis. Then we have real life situation. In real life situation, the static analysis doesn't fully represent the real life uh, circumstances based on the unrealistic assumptions of the perfect competition, perfect knowledge, etc. 
we know that these assumptions are made in all or most of the economic uh, models and they are there in this uh, uh, kind of analysis therefore we cannot say that it's fully representing the real life situation definitely it is lacking this feature of the real life uh, situation whereas the dynamic analysis is uh, relatively closer to reality because in real life time continues to grow or go ahead so therefore it is um, uh, suitable to analyze a model by considering the um, changes in various economic variables over time and this is done in dynamic analysis it also considers that all economic variables are changeable so other variables that are usually held constant like information knowledge or level of competition they can also be allowed to change because time can change most of the things uh, may it be the level of knowledge or the level of competition it can change over time so this is a, a more uh, a more realistic kind of analysis that is the dynamic analysis that allows us to uh, include uh, many variables that are kept constants as um, assumptions in other that is the static and comparative static analyses now the uh, complexity level uh, before we go there is a part of the last uh, point which is left and it talks about various variables like fashions po population models of production these are assumed to be constant because at one point in time it is difficult to assess that how fashions can change at one point in time or population can change at one point in time or the models of production may change from capital intensive to labor intensive at one point in time whereas the uh, dynamic analysis can allow all of these factors to change because we have more than one equilibria complexity definitely would be here and it's not just lack of complexity rather it is oversimplified because all of such factors are considered to be constant which definitely is oversimplification and such simplification is definitely not an ideal form of simplification whereas when it comes to dynamic analysis it is definitely complex but at the same time it is more realistic because over time all of the variables have the tendency to change so under these six points we have compared the static comparative static versus the uh, and the uh, dynamic analyses and we have tried to um, clarify the difference and the similarities between them now why there is uh, there is a need to do the dynamic analysis time definitely is unstoppable it it goes on it, de it doesn't stop and it affects the variables of all disciplines including those of economics uh, time can change all the variables no matter we are talking about physics chemistry biology all those variables including those sciences can change and this can happen in economics as well and it's better to conduct analysis over time rather than one point in time only that is more realistic analysis and there are many examples that we can see of dynamic nature in our surroundings for example the decline in the global global gdp due to covid-19 during the first half of 2012 20 and now in 2021 uh, the revival of uh, the uh, world economy is being observed the rise in unemployment in pakistan due to uh, covid-19 during the first half to, of 2020 and in other countries as well we have observed that there has been quite a bit of unemployment during covid-19 decline in fuel or petrol prices due to covid-19 uh, the fuel in some countries uh, got a little uh, cheaper because the demand for fuel uh, was uh, declined drastically so this is another change that happened over time and should be analyzed over time change of share value over time you know the shares of various companies they uh, vary over, uh, in terms of their value over time so this is also a dynamic analysis and daily activity of uh, pakistan stock exchange or any other stock exchange in the world this can be observed uh, over time Uh, and this would be very uh, instantaneous in nature because the stock market activity happens uh, approximately at every instance and therefore it's um, uh, it is necessary to study this over time instead of just studying it at one point in time 
So we have uh, an introduction to the dynamic analysis and how it uh, differs from the static or comparative static analysis. Thank you.